What is up everybody, Dragon Slayer 3000 back for another video. Hey guys, and today, yes I know, by the title of, of the video, um, I bet you guys are wondering, a third wing manor, yes. Um, I mainly just built this one for fun, and uh, for you guys, um, this is mainly, I'm kind of focusing on towards the Telltale series, Bat, Batman Universe, kind of Wayne Manor and Batcave, and the um, 1989 uh, Tim Burton Batman film, so yeah, as of Batman Returns and the Batman. But um, before I start this video, guys, I just want to let you guys know that um, the Star Wars um, Minecraft mashup pack is super cool. As you can see, I have it on right now. I have the Mandalorian skin. Um, please, if please, I, I tell you right now, if you love Star Wars, Mandalorian even, or just Mandalorian, um, please get get this pack. It, it's only eight dollars. It's it's really cool, really cheap for this awesome pack. Um, it comes with thirty six skins, a texture pack, and a whole world. You can hyperspace. There's so many ships. There's like an Imperial shuttle. There's a, um, a Millennium Falcon. There's a Razor Crest. There's even Baby Yoda and our Grogu. Uh, but yeah, please, guys, um, just get this pack. Um, that's all I gotta say. But um, without further ado, let's go on to the video. Um, I'm going to turn it to night because it looks really cool at midnight. Okay, so as you can see, um, there's a huge gate with um, a, a lot of yard work and a lot of trees. As you can see, Wayne Manor is all the way there in the distance. I really like that distance. That's one reason why um, I made it like this. Um, as you can see, the big W symbol right here for um, Wayne. Uh, gate's open because, you know, I'm going through it. So, um, again, without further ado, let's go in. So, um, as you can see, there's a driveway, um, all the way, um, from the gate to, um, his, um, to his, uh, I cannot talk today, uh, to his driveway. So, um, as you can see, you keep driving here. There's a sports car. Um, here's Bruce Wayne's sports car. Um, I don't know what car, type of car it is, but it's a sports car. Um, Orange sports car right there. Um, come over here is the um, water fountain, and here's a limo, and here is the mansion. Okay, guys, um, this is such a a beauty. I, I love it. Um, again, it looks more of like the um, 1989, and kind of mixed in with the Telltale series. Uh, if you haven't watched or played the game or watched the movie, uh, I encourage you to. So, yeah. Uh, before I get into the inside, I just want to know everything on the outside. Again, the sports car over there parked. Um, the limo right here parked um, for like when he gets up in the morning and has to drive all the way to Wayne Enterprise, which is not in this world. Um, if you come over here, um, it, oh yeah, if I voice crack, guys, um, I'm super sorry. Sorry, <laughs> my voice um, has issues. Um... If you come down here, uh, there's the Bat Cave. I'm not going to show you that yet. Um, it's the part where he fell um, and where he built the Bat Cave at. So, yeah. But again, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, yeah. Okay. So you, when you come inside, there's a huge, huge room with a beautiful piano right here. Um, a beautiful staircase way. Um, I love this. And um, some doors over here. And just like, it looks so luxurious. Um, you know, just because he's rich and stuff. There's a fountain in between the, um, <clears throat> in between the staircases. So, yeah. And there's armor stands that um, have armor on it, of course. Um, but anyway, um, there's some paintings up here. Um, I just love this room. Um, I love the red carpet that goes to the um, staircase. But um, yeah, and here's this piano. Um, if you are wondering how I did this, um, I just put um, Ender Dragon heads down below and just put um, armor stands right here. I actually wasn't going to say that, but I don't know. I just kind of want to say it. Okay. Um, 
Alright, before I get into any of these rooms, I just want to show you um, a bat cave entrance that I have in here. Uh, sadly, because there's no keys on this, I couldn't, like, you know, add like a um, key one where, like, you know, presses the the keys and like it opens up a bat cave entrance or anything. But I did do one thing though. But first, um, before I get into that, I have forgotten to turn my UD off. Okay. So as you can see, when you press this button, a Batcave entrance opens up right here. And if you go down, the Batcave is right there. But again, the surprise, um, if you want to close it, you got to go down there and do so. But I'm not going to show you the Batcave, so I'm not going to close it. All right. Um, I'm going to start on this side of the mansion because I think it's really cool. Um, come in the and come into this first room um here's basically the kitchen it's kind of like a small kitchen just for batman robin or batman and jason dick whichever robin you want um and alfred uh here's the um the refrigerator ovens blah blah, blah a boiling um water but um yeah, nothing really too exciting for this um, room. There's no back cave entrance. I was actually thinking of having this, like where you pull it up and like there'd be like a back cave entrance somewhere. But I'm not trying to make every room have a back cave entrance. You know, I'm trying not to. I I have two of them, I I believe. Yeah, I think I only have two. Okay, so if you come in this room, uh, again, here's a another back cave entrance. Uh, here's the um study room, and. The back cave entrance is right down there. I'm not going to show you it yet. I want to go through the whole house before I show you what's underneath. But, um, okay. So that's the study room. Better close this up. Alright, so if you come in here, it's kind of like a hangout room. Like a TV room, kind of. Um, here's a clock tower. I really like this design on the clock tower because because they added the bell in the new update, um, I decided to, um, instead of like, you know, making it like a gold um usually what i did was that um i got an item frame and i put it right there and i just put like a um a gold um block on it to make it look like a um you know a bell but instead this time since they added a bell finally i could put one right here and it can't ring so sad but still it looks really cool i was going to add a door right here i did have one right here but i just decided to move it cuz it looks really cool just like that okay so Here's the couch, or the sofa, um, here's a glass table, and uh, here's a TV. Um, I forgot to add the TV remote, I was going to add it right here, but forgot to. But hopefully you like that room. Um, okay, so I'm done with the downstairs of the left side. Um, let me go to the um, upstairs on the left side. Okay, I'm going to start with this room. Uh, this room leads to the other upstairs, which I won't get into yet. But um, Basically, he puts all of his belongings here. Uh, I mainly just put stuff right here just to put stuff. Same with this red carpet, just to put stuff there. This room is only to lead up to upstairs. But anyway, um, let me come in here. Here's the bathroom. Uh, I like this mirror right here. Um, it's kind of like a um, an illusion. Um, really, back here, it's just you know a normal um, floor or like a room. But um, I wish mirrors did exist, cause then you can see myself through it. Um, there's a toilet, um, a really big carpet in here, and some uh, water, so you can wash your hands. Okay, nothing too exciting about that room. Um, come in here. Here's like a um just a guest room basically. Um here's where you can um read. Here's like a chest. And um, here's a really cool bed. And I like this design of a bed. It looks really cool. Um here's some books that you can read. Again, nothing too exciting about that room. Okay, so let me come in here or up here. Okay, so here is the third floor of the left side. Come in here, here's um Alfred's kind of room. Um you can see like you know, just where you can read. So books, blah blah blah, get the point. Um after that uh you come in here. 
here is another um, room basically I kind of made tried to make this um, Dick Grayson's room or Jason's room or whichever Robin you're dealing with or whichever Robin you would like you know Robin there but um yeah so there's just Dick Grayson's room come in here that's ace right there um, and here is Bruce Wayne's room um, again something where he can he can read there's no books in here I got rid of them and here's just a nice view of the outside they're supposed to be like Gotham City like over here but again I didn't put it in my normal world sadly okay now I would show you up there but that leads to the attic and I'll get to that um, through the next um, floor so might as well just cut through okay so if you come onto the right side let me start at the bottom again I come in this room here is basically another hangout room um, I mainly made this room from the uh, Batman Returns um, the scene well there's not really a specific scene that um, shows this room but like there's a whole bunch of scenes shows it um, anyway um, if you've watched Batman Returns uh, comment down and um, by the way comment down um, what's your favorite Batman movie I just wanna wanna see what your guys favorite Batman movie is okay so here's some books um, a fireplace um, sofa and yeah and here's like some music where you can like play music app so yeah nothing too serious there just something cool okay so um, before I get into this room I just want I want to say um the main reason, main reason why I didn't put like a um, like a, uh, I'm trying to think, I can never think straight, but um, a pool table right here is because um, I put it upstairs and plus I just liked it like just like you know, just like this. I didn't want to like make this room too crowded. Like at first, I had like some drums, I had a guitar laying around, but it just looked too busy in here. And this is like a party room kind of so. Yeah, I just kind of got rid of them, but, um, okay, so over here is, like, um, the wine cellar where, um, Bruce gets his wine at, um, here's a cup, um, just in case he wants to try some out. Okay, nothing too serious about that room, um, okay, over here is some storage, um, here's basic, it's basically a room where, um, if he wants to keep some stuff, but, like, you know, doesn't know where to put them, uh, this room's perfect, then, uh, again, some boxes everywhere nothing too crazy in here so yeah um, let's go upstairs alright so if you come upstairs um, <clears throat> sorry if I voice cry again um, again here's just some here's just uh, <laughs> I cannot talk today guys I apologize but um Again, here's just like I just put stuff in here just to put stuff in here. It this room mainly leads to the upstairs, which I will show you um in a minute. Okay, so here's some chest. Here's some um other juke boxes. Here's some um, boxes, and here's a washing um, machine. So yeah, I got stuck. Okay, come over here. Here's another bathroom. Uh, again with illusion effect. Um nothing really to talk about in this room so yeah nothing wrong with making double bathrooms right um, second bathroom okay um here's another guest room where you can look outside blah blah um Bruce Wayne has some guests like if you know um let's just say uh Nightwing comes into town like you know he's usually in Bloodhaven but uh, you know he comes in and you know is just like kinda stay at your house for a couple of days for sure here you go. All right, um, that's it for um, the second floor of the right side. Um, let's go upstairs. Okay, I really like this room for one good reason. Um, mostly because I put a pool table up here and I put like a, um, you know, like a stand-up table, and um, with some. Um, this is where he brings up his gang, like not his gang, but you know, he, this is where he brings like Jack Ryder, you know, all those um, famous rich dudes at and. Just where just they hang out, you know. Usually everyone else hangs out down there. But the main reason I like this room is because I got this one part from Batman Year One. Please, you can you can say whatever you want. You can say you can you can say whatever you want to Batman Year One, but 
that was one of my favorite Batman movies ever. I love Batman Year One. But anyway, uh, here's supposed to be a statue of his um father. Um, if you look at the trailer, um, it should show you. And it's like one of the most iconic scenes of the movie, cause you know he's feeling guilty for his father's parents' death, and like you know, uh, he's just looking at his father's um memorial um you know statue, and here's just his like chair right here. And I just really like this movie. Like, please, this this movie is just too good. Okay. Um. Anyway, enough from my um things. But um, okay, here's um Thomas Wayne's um iron axe. This is where he basically keeps all of his um parents' belongings. His axe. Um, a photo of his mother. Thomas Wayne's bell. Um, I I just made this up. Um. Uh, in Batman Year One, there is a scene where, like, you know, he has like a little bell in his hand. Okay, um, Thomas Wayne's checkbook again. I've never really saw what it looked like, you know, just putting it there. And Martha Wayne's ring from their engagement. So yeah, um, here's a ladder up to the um, attic. So let's go up there, shall we? Okay, here's probably the biggest room of the whole house. Well, actually, it's the bottom floor. But um, here's the longest room of it. Here's the attic. Uh, I love this because this is where Batman keeps his most valuable belongings at. So yeah. Okay, come over here. Um, here's um. Uh, I don't know what this is. I just built that. Um, I guess you can just say it's a microscope or something. Okay. Um, or a telescope, whichever one. Okay, if you come over here. Um. Here's Batman's old telephone I used to call um, Commissioner Gordon on um, until he stopped doing that because, you know, they can always track where he is from his phone. So, um, if you look in this chest, uh, here's Martha, Wayne, Martha Wayne's necklace um, with pearls on it. So, yeah. Here's Batman's um, old suit. Um, so, yeah. And that's a valuable closet. Okay, I mainly like this part because if you come up here, um, you can get out of the house like this. Um, I don't know why I made that empty. I, I did have it as like iron bars over there at first, but you know, I just decided to keep it empty because it looked really cool. Um, so yeah. All right. Well, um, everything else is just boxes in here. I, I guess I'm. I guess I'm done with the whole mansion. All right, guys. Um. This is not. This video is not over. I'm going to review the Batcave. Um, that's one of my most favorite parts of it. Um, actually, uh, I'm just gonna show you guys this entrance way. That's an entrance, and then the button I just pressed earlier. That's an entrance. Okay, so let's go down here. The piano entrance. Okay, come down to the Batcave. There's a long elevator. Go down. There's a button right here, and then it should be cleared. Yes, okay. All right, guys, I'm going to zoom past it. I don't want to show you guys yet. All right, guys, in three, two, one, the bat cave. This bat cave is simply made from, well, not simply made. This is actually pretty hard to make, but, um, this Batcave is mainly from uh, 1989, a uh, Batman film, uh, Batman Returns, and Batman with the Joker in it. So, yeah. Um, all right, now I find something to start on. Okay, so over here is um, the suit selection area. Here's Robin's suits, even though he did, he's not in Batman Returns or any of them. And here's Batman suits. Um, and here's like some tools he keeps um, in here. I don't have them click okay so if you come over here um this one part i got off of um batman returns of like when you know the um door comes down with the steel bars on it and it shows the bat suit with the you know um basically spare batman suits in here um i'll pull an image up of what i'm talking about yeah all right guys if you look towards that other image um that's basically what i got that off of besides the you know the side and stuff and with the light okay um if you go upstairs uh here's another back cave entrance uh here's the back cave entrance with the um lever in it but i don't have like one that turns it off 
Uh, so yeah, I'm still working on that. Okay, so if you come over here, it's the back computer. Um, I was gonna make it entirely differently. It, it was actually covering this like whole area, but it was just too big, so I decided to move on and just make it smaller. Okay, if you come over here, his um, uh, I don't know, just some gadgets that he's working on. I don't know, work table. Here is um his workout area where he you know works out. Uh, here's some Batman tools in here, so let's get onto that. A ninja star, a sword, a batarang, a cybernetic sequencer or a connector, whichever one you want. Um, this is actually from Arkham um, Asylum through Arkham Knight, so yeah. A remote map, uh, again, this is kind of from um, Arkham Asylum through Knight, except, you know, just one with the, you know, the map of Gotham City. And a gel bomb, um, I like that because that's from Mark of Asylum through Night. Uh, smoke pellet, um, grapple gun, bat claw, I really like that, it's one of my favorites. Uh, smoke pellet, impact times two. This basically makes you cough, it can make you dizzy, anything like that. A metallic screw um, where you can get into doors easily. Um, a mini, mini explosives, uh, how he gets through walls and stuff. A glass for samples of evidence, um, you know, for detective work. So, yeah, stuff like that. Okay, and here's one of my favorite parts of the Batcave, too. The Batmobile area and the Robin cycle, or the Bat cycle, whichever we're going to call it. Okay, um, this is the 1989 Batmobile, um, inspired by Bezos 6-7's version. I, I kind of made mine longer, though, so, yeah. Okay, uh, I like this because here's basically a garage area for the Batmobile. Uh, if you press this button, it closes. Press this button, not that button, this button, it opens. And you just drive straight out of the um, Batcave. And I still haven't finished it yet, but um, yeah, I, I really like that um, entranceway. So, yeah. Okay, and over here, uh, I know you guys are probably wondering what this is. Well, just picture that inside the Batmobile. That's basically what I'm talking about. This is basically how he, how he powers the engine. Uh, it's, you know, just a spare engine part. Uh, here's some wheels over here. And uh, here's the Bat Cycle. So, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just going to pretend I never went over there. Uh, I'm going to come down. Alright, so I'm going to come over here to the um, Batwing area. Almost tripped. Okay, so you got to come up these stairs, got to take a round turn, and here's how he gets out of the Batcave with the Batwing. So, if you look straight over there, here's a, um, a waterfall, and behind that waterfall, I'm just going to pretend there's a wall behind there, or an opening to the Batcave, and he drives out. Okay, um, over here, Alfred packs him, you know, some, uh, some parachutes, just in case if, like, you know, any emergencies. An emergency kit for more emergencies, if he ever gets hurt, or if he ever breaks a leg or something. I don't know. But, yeah, or if he's bleeding out. Alright, so if you come over here, um, here is his training area. Um, here's some, like, robots, I guess. Um, you know, he fights them during training and stuff, blah, blah, blah. Here's where he works on the training area, protocol and stuff. Um, and here's where Alfred sits down and, you know, just presses the button. He goes, like, your training simulator is started, sir. And, yeah. Okay, so if you come over here, here's the big trophy area. Um, Riddler's uh, sandbox time machine. Uh, Here's my own custom one, uh, the one from Gotham's Guardian, um, where Joker was about to, um, spray, um, you know, scare gas or fear toxin throughout all of Gotham City, and one of my most ironic movies that we are thinking of remaking one day, but we'll go into that later. Um, here's a giant dinosaur that Mr. Wolf helped me make. He, ma he helped me make this whole back cave, this whole Wayne Manor, so shout out to him. Uh... 1914 uh, coin. I was gonna fit, fit the face up there, but I tried so many times. It was really hard. Um, it looked good one time, but eh, it just really didn't suit me. Okay. Um, over here is like the small trophy selection. As you can see, not all of them are filled, but you get the point. Um, Bane's venom tube. Uh, I really like that. Um, Poison Ivy's vines. Roman Sionis' Black Mask, uh, 
Ventriloquist's Tommy Gun, Catwoman's Whip, Killer Croc's Scaled Skin, Two Face's Coin, Kyodai's Ninja Star. If you don't know who Kyodai is, I'm pulling up a picture right now. Uh, he's one of Batman's uh, villains in a animate series. Uh, you don't understand if you're an animate series fan, or if you at least watch animate series. Okay, Deathstroke's Gun from uh, um, our episode called The Assassin. Uh, Talia goes enchantment or whatever, um, which we will be seeing in our next film. Uh, Victor Zaz's knife, so yeah, I used a feather for that. Penguin's umbrella, I really like that. Scarecrow's fear toxin, um, what he uses on Batman and a whole bunch of his um, villains. Clock King's clock. Um, Mr. Freeze's freeze gun, uh, I really like that. I used a um. A blue light lantern. Um, I just pretend that's like you know um, freeze fuel in there or ice in there, and like you know it just freezes out. Um, if you look very closely right there, um, that's kind of like the um, nozzle of the gun. Okay, Firefly's heat gun. Kind of use the same thing. Um, looks really cool right there. Okay, um, Joker's toxic flower uh, that he keeps under his um or on his jacket. Um, Ra's al Ghul's sword, which you will be seeing in the next film. Harley Quinn's bat. Um, so yeah, I have no idea when we're gonna add Harley in it. Um, I'm trying to get it in Seek of Vengeance. Um, okay, so if you come, let me break that. If you come over here, um, here's where basically Batman keeps his very valuable um, items that um, he has. I haven't filled all these in, but I've only filled like one. Okay, um, here's Joker's blood, which is really cool. Lazarus, the Lazarus Demon Drink. Uh. In Arkham um, City, um, there's this one scene where, like, you know, he kind of tricks Talia into um, getting to Ra's al Ghul so, like, you know, he can save him and Joker. He and he has to save himself because he's literally dying right there. Um, so, yeah. Kryptonite, so he can beat Superman with it. Um, Talon Sword from our um, last video, um, episode 9. If you haven't watched that, please watch it. Scarecrow's Mask, um, I just use, like, leather right there. So, that's cool. And again, I haven't filled all these in yet, so, yeah. Okay, there should be a few more parts. Uh, here's another back cave entrance that I got rid of. Um, so, yeah. You want to open it? There you go. Um, but, yeah. Kind of got rid of that back cave entrance because I had the Wayne Manor looking a whole lot different, but I changed it. Uh, that's something we don't need to see. Um... There should be one more part to the Batcave, I believe. Yeah, here it is. <clears throat> okay, here's the Bat Boat area. Um, if you come down here, uh, all you gotta do is just, you know, come down here, go to the ladder. There you go. Um, I haven't added a button yet for the um, Bat Boat to open, but um, I just edit it right there. It looks a lot like the Batwing. Um, it's how it is in the Batman anime series show too. So I mean yeah all right and um again um i explained this earlier in the video um here was the bat cave basically launches down here um so yeah um that's kind of it for the um bat cave guys uh i hope you guys like this um tour um took me a while to make exactly um took me a long time to make <laughs> Okay, guys, um, before I end the video, um, I just want to talk um, about our next video. Uh, we're trying to schedule it to come out on Christmas Eve, um, but again, it, it might not work out that way. It might it might happen. It might not happen. It depends. Um, but if, if it doesn't happen or if it does, um, I'll keep you notified or try at least. Um, if you want to see um, me, Arm Fox, Mr. Wolf, the gang, um, play in um, a Star Wars map. Um, if you want to see like a special request video, then yeah, sure. Um, we'll do that if you um, comment down below. Do all that. And today's comment question is What is your favorite Batman movie and what is your favorite Star Wars movie? I want to hear from you guys. But um, that's it for today, guys. Hope you like this way, Manor. Um, if you did, Please subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you later. Bye.